Hey guys, and welcome back to Bag of Tips. Here where I try and give you some tips to try and help improve your games. Today, we're gonna go ahead and make an NPC template, and also an NPC database, which allows us to very quickly and easily make a system where we can make NPCs with bare bone basic information without much effort. This video isn't meant to be an overall technicality on how to do these things or how these work. Just giving you guys the bare bone basics so you can reverse engineer these and make them work to however you want. As always, if you have any additional information, you can ask in the comments below and I'll try and help. But the best place to get additional information and support is in the community discord. So go ahead and find that in the description below. However, let's go ahead and get started. So, in front of us here, we have a NPC template. We have the title, which is Actia Trevenor, which is the name of the NPC. On the right hand side, I also have some important information like how it's pronounced. I have a picture, so we know what they look like. Their bio, such as race, sex, age, sexuality, alignment and condition. And some important information such as their aliases, so things they go by, occupation, any groups or religions they're a part of, and their current location. Additionally, the main part of information here are the traits, such as keywords that we can associate with this character or their likes and dislikes, things that they uh, tend to steer towards or away from. Their goals, either personal or professional, so we can distinguish what do they personally want compared to professionally. And also their acquaintances, which is essentially who they like and who they don't like, as well as a few bits of additional information, such as their history, if you want to get more in detail with that, and also with your DM note to go in more detail, such as your plot hooks, anything like that. I'm going to go over how to make this as simple as possible. So with that being said, I do have this down here below, and this is going to get uploaded to a GitHub. So down below in the video description, you'll find a link where you'll be able to get this and be able to copy and paste and use this exactly as is without me needing to do anything. However, I'm going to go over a few things to help us along that route. So if you're going to go ahead and copy and paste from the GitHub, this is exactly what you'll see in front of you. You'll have a how to use and it goes into explanation, but short and simple. All you need to do is find the line here and delete the one above, which has got these here. Get rid of that and you'll see it's already going to start getting populated. And then we're going to just go delete this as well. And then, hey presto, if we go ahead and actually delete this bit as well, go into viewing mode. You have it there basically ready to go. All you need to do is start filling out some information. Now, a couple of things to do before we get to that point. If I go back into edit mode, because I said I was going to teach you guys on some of the basics on what exactly is going on here. So as you can see, for example, with this one, it's calling this.file.name. Essentially, all this part is doing is looking to see what the file name is. So as you can see, it's template NPC example. I go ahead and change this to something like Bobby. Uh, what this is going to do now is if I go ahead and click off and back on, and go to viewing you'll see now it's going as bobby which is pretty simple and straightforward next you've also got the placeholder image.png this is just something i use for the meantime since this is a example vault i don't actually have that image in here but what i can do i can go ahead and actually just type in bobby as i did drag that picture in before i started this and then go ahead and just leave that as so as bobby.png and then if I come back, you can see the picture's there and ready to go. Now let's say, for example, we are playing something like Pathfinder compared to Dungeons and & Dragons. And we actually, we don't use races. We use ancestries and heritages. So with that, we can go back into edit, come back through here. And then you can see this point here where it says race. This dot race. Now, I'll go over this a little bit more in just a moment, but essentially it's doing the same thing. This is, is finding whatever the next part is, and that is race. Now you're probably thinking, well, where does that race bit come from? And that's going to come from our database, which we're going to make. But essentially, all that's going to do is that's going to come up at the top here, and that's going to go ahead and find us through here. If I type in race semicolon, and if I go halfling, now you don't need to remember to type this in, this is what I'm saying. And then go away, come back, 
you can see it's already filled out the race which is half link there so that's perfectly great now if I come back through here we actually go ahead and change this so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to ancestry and what I can even do I can go ahead and copy this make a new line paste it and change this for example to heritage and then all I need to do is come back to the second half thing and replace where it says race to heritage and you'll see now it's just got a line which means it's got no information oh and it would also help if I could spell correctly wonderful and that's going to go ahead and look for that information and then same with all the rest of these it's going to look for the relevant bits of information which is a title to alias occupation for example and then the only difference is these ones here where it's got a equals link and then it brackets this dot whatever you're looking for essentially what that's going to do is if you have the name of something for example let's just say i don't know the jewel gang if you have a note which is associated to that group within your vault it's going to link it to that specific group so all you need to do is click on that link which is in, going to be in here ready for you to click it'll take you straight to that group and then you can find any relevant information you need which is pretty handy now you understand how that works hopefully you can come through here and actually see okay so the traits here it's looking for this dot personality trait it's just going to do exactly the same thing but instead of looking for one bit of information it's going to take everything that we put into our database and fill it out from there and then lastly just underneath here is just the goals for example these are just manually written these are something which we'll go ahead and put in more information about which is a little bit more than just a quick um, throw something in there and come back to it later so these are just manual a little bit more in detailed things that you'll come back to and write notes in and then you can always expand and put extra bits wherever you feel like you need to however now that we've got the actual template set up we'll go over to the database and we'll work that out so if you're copying the code from the github simply all you need to do is copy it you don't even need to replace any of the lines or anything compared to what we did with the npc and then if we just go over paste it in here and go ahead and do the reading view excellent so for this time it's gone ahead and done that for me no problem no sweat however just bear in mind that if yours comes up a bit weird and like a uh, like a excel kind of style all you need to do is just close down your vault and reopen it and it'll be as you can see here but i'm going to just go ahead and delete that one because i do have one set up just in case that happened so as you can see here we have the database it's all pretty much set up for you for what i have but like we said we're going to go ahead and change one or two things on camera just to show you guys how it's done uh, but just quickly walk you through it so the file name is exactly what so as you can see right now it's currently seeing what's in this folder i have mine set up so it's going to be in whatever folder it shows so if i was to bring this one over here for example go away and come back to it now you'll see it's seeing what's in this one here which is the um, templates and bobby or if i was to decide i don't know for whatever reason i want to have it on the one above and then if I go away from it and come back to it, uh, oh, this one here, you'll see it's starting to find a whole bunch of different things. Now you can go into the settings and you can change that, but that's not something I'm gonna be covering. You can by all means have a look at all those in the meantime, but I'm just gonna bring mine over here and we have what we need. So we have Bobby, but we can always come up and add row and then we'd be able to type in Bobby. So we're actually gonna go ahead and um, show you how that works and um, so the file name you type in the name so Bobby for example and then for the row template now what you want to do here is you actually want to go ahead and type in the template that you have already set up so obviously we had the one with Bobby so I'm just going to type Bobby's just because of the fact that um, I don't have the a blank one set up that hasn't got a load of code in it um, for the github and I'm just going to do Bobby 2 just so we can see how that looks 
So if I create that, what that's going to do is that's going to create in this folder here. So we now have Bobby 2. And if I come in here, it's going to go ahead and use the exact same one as the template. As you can see here, where it's brought in the picture and it's brought in all the information. Obviously, if you want to use a template for any character, then you just want to get rid of those. But if I come back in here, you can see it's already looking for what we call as front matter. It's already found Halfling in there from the template that we brought over. And that's basically what we um, typed in at the start with the race. But for example, if I want to come through here and add some new things. So for example, if I want to make this an NPC, as this works, the type itself is exactly what this thing is. So this thing here is an NPC. You can also call it a VIP. These are used for calling things in separate areas, um, such as when you get to settlement, it looks for what is an NPC, what is a VIP and stuff like that. And the most important one here is character. That is one of the big ones that it searches for when it's looking for what characters in the area. And if I come over back over to Bobby 2, you'll see it's starting to fill out that information, which is exactly what we want. So as you can see, if we come through here and we just start filling these out, like who are they to the party? Their family, let's say. Their alignment, let's say they're neutral, gender, female, sexuality, let's say bisexual. Their age, not to keep it in numbers, but in a general term, just for ease sake, let's say they are an adult. Condition, let's say they're hurt. Uh, location, I don't have one set up, but let's just say, for example, if I want to come through here, I can type it in here, I can call a test. And or we can type it in here if we don't want to go through that list as well as you could do, I could do testing. If I really wanted to. And then I can go to which party. So which party is basically set up so um you can set if they're a party member with your uh, your players. Um we will be setting up later down the line what what I call as a party um dashboard. Um, so that'll be something handy to have at that point. So just bear that in mind for now. Occupation, what do they do? Let's say they're a barkeeper. Same with groups and religions. I don't have any set up, but those will fill in the respective places. And for the personality traits, let's say they're anxious, awkward, and charming. Social traits, let's say they are dishonest, uh, but generous for some reason. And let's say they're cowardly creative and they like cake and they dislike tea for example just random ones that come to mind and then if we come over to Bobby and then go to view you'll see that this has started to fill out all these different areas very quickly without needing to do things now as you can see here we haven't got the heritage so we are going to come back to that one so if I go back over to that database you can see here that when we've gone through here is gone ahead and try to find things like your uh, alignment everything like that and one thing is it's got here is race now what we want to do because we did change this one earlier to ancestry I also noticed that I have actually misspelled that so ancestry uh, we want to change this itself away from race to ancestry just like so and then if we come back to the database and we want to go ahead and change these over so we have the halfling which is the race so we want to change that now to ancestry just like actually you need to come in here sorry that's my bad and then click save so that will now update from there and then to make a new one all you need to do is come to the far right and you go ahead and click plus and then it's going to ask you where or what do you want to make so we're going to do a heritage and um, you can change different types so we'll change this to a select and let's go ahead and do a uh, add column and then i just drag this over like so where is it heritage there we go bring it over and then let's go ahead and make one I don't know let's just do tester for now I can't think of one on, it, on top of my head and um, but we go to Bobby 2 you can see that in here 
Uh, do, 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 do. Where are we looking? Probably gone past it, haven't I? Uh, there we go. It's gone at the bottom simply because we've updated it. So you can see it's automatically deleted it from above because we've changed it. And it just adds it to the bottom. So you can see it's got Ancestry Halfling and Heritage Ancestor. So if we go to uh, viewing mode now, you can see there we go. Ancestry is back to Halfling and Heritage Tester. And there you go. And then you can even see down here, this is why I put in a location. It's because it's got one of those links. You can see it's not actually linking to anything it's saying it's not created yet do you want to create it so we'll click create and then let's say testing is a place and then you can start filling in that information and put um this note wherever it is suited so in a groups folder for example and just a final little addition this is more so prep for when we get to settlements and dashboards if you come over to the art section and you go ahead and do an exclamation mark and two open square brackets if we type in bobby and find bobby png what that'll do is if once we click on that and click off it it'll show the actual image within this database so that's going to be really useful for later but it also helps if you're scrolling through your database and you're looking for someone in particular you may have forgotten their name but you remember what they look like that's all there and ready to go but guys that's it you now have a fully working template ready to use and a fully working database to make use of those templates to fill in all that information and to make characters either in your sessions or as you're prepping it makes things so much faster and easier i can't exaggerate this enough it is saves me so much time rather than typing all these bits of information and you can add on to these and change them to however you like so it is a very very handy and useful tool to use now if you find this useful please go ahead and slap that subscribe button and the like button and it does help me out but most importantly that bell if you're looking to keep up to date of when these videos are posted because i am posting somewhat frequently at the moment as i'm just getting all these videos out and it's going to tell you next about settlements to show you for saying for example the um shops uh, points of interest or even npcs or even players that are all within that area that you're looking in at the moment it's going to be interesting stuff but until then guys slap a comment down below if you do need a hand with anything or join the discord where we can go ahead and discuss any issues you may have other than that though i hope you guys take care and i'll see you in the next one take care guys